What is talking about Thanksgiving, Lucy Greer with a very timely recipe <laughs> this morning. Yes, she's here. Now, um, your carrot souffle was such a hit in the kitchen. And so now we're talking about a sweet potato casserole. Now, you're calling this the supreme sweet potato <laughs> casserole. What does that mean, Lucy? We had to differentiate <laughs> the difference between regular and this one. Um, well, when I was getting ready to make this, I thought, well, I love the marshmallows on top, yeah. but a lot of people like the pecan topping, so I was like, well, why don't we just put the topping throughout the casserole and we can still have room for the marshmallows on top. Do so. you have someone in your family who may or may not scrape the topping off just to eat the marshmallow? I might. No, but I'm going to look out for that. Is, you that should look. You? Is that you? I may have done that before with certain things. Um, yes, marshmallows are my favorite. But I do like the sweet potato part, too. So, um, yeah, so this would be great for Thanksgiving. Also, yes. I mean, as we're getting ready for Christmas, a mm -hmm. lot of people have Christmas dinners and have people over. So this, too, would be good for that. Yeah, definitely. And a lot of people are going out today and doing their shopping. When I was shopping for all this at our Dolphin Street store, um, I walked in, and the sweet potatoes, I mean, they're huge, and they look so good. And I was like, oh, here's my marshmallows. Here's brown sugar. This is what I'm going to make. Yeah. So um, it's really great. Um, super easy to put this casserole together because a lot of people are making a lot of different things. Um, so this might be something that people want to whip together tomorrow. Okay. So it doesn't take very long. No. And of course this would, you could put it together today and then just pop it in the oven tomorrow. Oh, and a lot of people yeah. have meals kind of throughout the weekend because family's coming and going. So if you wanted to make it a couple days in advance, this would be a good one. Okay, so we've got the sweet potatoes going over mm -hmm. here. Yep. What That's... other ingredients do we have out here? Okay, this was four pounds of sweet potatoes. Okay. So I peeled those and just diced them up and covered them in water. I'm just going to stir to make it yeah. look like I'm doing something. Yeah, <laughs> you're a good helper. I know. Really good at that. <laughs> and um, <laughs> those are just going to cook until they're tender and mashable, which will take 25, 30 minutes. Okay. I mean, if you have something else going on in the kitchen, you can really just cook them as long as you want because you're going to drain them and mash them up anyway. Okay. So what I have in this bowl is half a cup of brown sugar and half a cup of flour and this is really what your your topping would be with the pecans and the butter but we're going to mix it inside remember so I'm just going to use a fork and get these all mixed up and then once this is kind of combined we're going to add four tablespoons of softened butter. Now I've seen um, on some of, w with some of your pictures, the boys, uh, the twins, mm -hmm. they tend to dress up for football. They <laughs> tend to dress up for Halloween. Do they have turkey costumes for Halloween? I mean, for you Thanksgiving. Know what? That is so funny. I just told my mom this morning. I don't really have anything Thanksgiving specific to put them in for Thanksgiving. So no, they do not. But Aww. maybe next year when they're like one and they're like waddling around, <laughs> they could be little be turkeys. <laughs> well, good. Well, we're going yeah. to continue to mix this stuff together. Joe's going to mm -hmm. be in here. Again, a okay. great dish coming up for Thanksgiving. Many of you might be headed to the store today. You can go ahead and get mm -hmm. these ingredients. A list of those on our website, fox10tv.com, under the Studio 10 tab. Joe?